Well, I'm Christina, and this is My Front Porch, and we're featuring uh, videos of storytellers today for our YouTube playlist from the sidewalk to the porch. So tell me your name. I'm Veronica. Veronica and... and I'm Ray. 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 All right, so Veronica and Ray. Uh, Veronica, what kind of story are you going to tell us about today? I am going to tell you our true love story. Oh, I love it. We have a, <laughs> an actual um, genre on there called Timeless Love Stories. Awesome. Our first podcast that's coming out this week is going to be a Timeless Love Story, oh, so this is awesome. perfect. Oh, awesome. Okay. All right, so um, feel free to tell us a story. Come All on. right. Well, I'm Veronica. This is Ray, and Ray and I met about 30 years ago. Just about 30, no, actually longer than that, 33, it was in 87. So about 33 years ago in high school. And Ray was my high school crush. I was a freshman, he was one of the first people I met. I had the biggest crush on him, but I was a good girl, you know, had set curfews, always never skipped class, never did anything, and Ray was the bad boy. So it was, you know, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it, you know, but, um. Anyway, so we had a crush on each other, and, and he was always there for me, he protected me, he was great, but it never evolved into anything. It was just simply a crush. Um, I would say about 89, 90, you left, right? Um, Ray left, didn't know where he went, didn't know what happened, so life moved on. Um, I met someone, got married, did, you know, lived life. Moved down to, and actually we met in New York, so that's the I forgot to mention that. Place. See, that's where you're supposed to help me, honey. Oh. Uh, it was high school in New York, in the Bronx. Um, and I would say about 2000, 2001, we were, I was in Jacksonville Beach um, with my then husband and my children. And someone caught my eye. And I kept staring at this certain someone, wondering, could it really be, you know? Um, my ex-husband, or my husband at the time, told me, go find out. And I'm like, no, it's okay. And, Go find out, go find out, tapped him on the shoulder, and it was him. So, you know, there we are, 13, 14 years later, you know, eight states apart. And, and I was there with my wife and my child. Oh, wow. So we yeah. had totally different. So your paths crossed. And Our you, paths crossed. And you reconnected. Yes. You were both married. We were both right. married, both had children. Now, we're not in Utah, so I know you're both not still married now. No, 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 no. Uh, we're not. Well, no, that's no. where it gets really good. Because okay, tell me that part. We were in touch. We exchanged numbers. Let's get our families together, you know, whatever. But that part never happened. And um, so we lost touch again. Yeah. We had lost touch again. For and years. For a few years. At least four or five years. And then in 2010, I was sitting at work in my office, and I hear the front door open, and someone says good morning to the receptionist and he has a voice that just nobody else has it's you know distinguishable and I said there's no way there's no way and sure enough he came in the office he was my coffee and water delivery person are you kidding me no and he looks into the door looks in my way and I look at him i once again jaws dropped and what in the world what happened? What happened? How are you? Blah, blah, blah. Um, so I couldn't, you know, we didn't lose touch after that because he was my delivery person. And at that point, I was having little issues in my marriage that wasn't working out at that point. Right. So he got separated, and then a couple years later, I got separated, and now we're engaged. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so now I have to understand. You started out in New York in high school. Yes. Yeah. Parted. You you disappeared, Ray. We don't know where you went. I had no idea where you went. Led this M. mysterious M. life. Yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> and then you're here in Florida, in Jacksonville, Veronica. Yes. And then you meet while you're still married here yeah. in Jacksonville. And then you part and lose touch again for she two did. more years. For yeah. actually, it was a little bit more it than was that. More than that. And then all of a sudden, came back. he walks into back in my office. Again. Walks back into the door. And then after that, another couple of years go by before you still have gotten to this point. Right, yes. right. Yes. Wow, right. that is a true love story. Yeah, and here right. we are now. And, and she's and engaged. Engaged. Oh, that's a beautiful it's a ring. It's 30 years to get it. <laughs> <laughs> love is worth the wait. It was abs absolutely worth it. I truly believe we had to go through what we went through in the past 30 years to get us to where we are now. I for love sure. that story. Thank you so much yeah. for Thank sharing you. that with me. And it's a true story. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want.
That's what we want. Yeah. True stories. All right. <laughs>